Hello fellow cruisers, Solo Sue here. This is the Day 5 Mazatlan video of Carnival Panorama. It looks like I neglected to do a uh, before and after video sequence, so I get to narrate the whole thing for you. So Mazatlan was a very industrial port and it was also very large. They had a band that greeted us when we got off the ship as the first one coming back, which was very nice. And you could get a really good view, of course, of the panorama. She's a good-sized girl, really. So they loaded us on a nice bus, and we headed off to our resort. There is the Mazatlan sign that you can go and stand in front of and get pictures, and it's right next to this big white, which is apparently a disco. It's a very big building. Um, and then there's some odd little uh, things here and there that I took pictures of the public art that I thought were fun. And then and this is supposed to be the gates of hell. Who knew? Um, the Riviera, Riviera Narit was the name of the resort we went into, the big wider area, and this is actually the El Cid Marina Beach Club that we went into specifically. And when you first walk in, there is a beach area, and then to get to the rest of the resort, you have to take a water taxi, and this is the water taxi as it is approaching us. And once you get there, there are two pools. This is the deep pool, and there's also, I'll show in a little bit, a much uh, shallower pool that has a swim-up bar. But the nice thing about this is that it has waterfalls and caves. This was wonderful to go through. So you basically, so it, the pool is nine foot deep. The caves, of course, are, are walking depth, and so you can walk through them, you can swim through them. Um, there are a number of waterfalls, there are a number of different chambers, and it was really fun to go through them and just enjoy, you know, exploring them. It's also one of the things I found really fun was to get underneath the waterfalls and see what they look like from underneath, because how often do you get to do that, right? And there were, you know, this was an area that led out into another area on the other side of the caves and they had more caves over there and you could you know swim in as you can see it's a very deep pool uh, there was no lifeguard on duty that I could see so obviously you need to be a good swimmer and sort of keep an eye on your children and others you know and, and not imbibe too much because you could uh, definitely get into trouble there but it was it was very pleasant there it was it was refreshing it was a lovely relaxing time uh, all the drinks were included, so the waiters were coming by always asking you if you wanted drinks. And uh, they were easier to get to at the swim-up bar, but the actual swim-up bar was closed. So you could hang out there, but they wouldn't act like it was a bar and serve you and such. So you, you would just catch someone who was walking by and ask for a drink, and they would bring it to you. Um, in the meantime, though, as you can see, I had lots of fun in the cave caves really and uh, it was just really a very nice getaway after we finished here uh, we actually went back on the water taxi which is free uh, to the main site which I did not get any video of for some reason there was a beach area there with a lot of uh, loungers and umbrellas again the beach was very steep so a very sharp drop off and thus you know somewhat more treacherous than say this that was the shallow, shallow pool we also found a few friends uh i love reptiles personally so i had to take pictures of of the uh the ornery lizards that were there and this is the pair of them that we saw we were careful not to get too close because of course they are wild animals and they will bite and once we were finished, you know, you take the water taxi back. Um, they actually had a whole building there and uh, they served us a buffet style lunch and it was very good. And then it was time to go back to the bus and back to the ship, sadly. Um, once you get back, they drop you off at a, a pier area or a, a cruise terminal area, which is not where you get off. Um, and there's a little shopping and that sort of thing there and then they have the shuttle which takes you back to the panorama it is a very industrial port you definitely want to take the shuttle it was far too far to walk and probably a bit treacherous because i mean there are containers being loaded and all this kind of stuff back on board at the seafood shack i had lobster rolls for dinner two of them and french fries they were quite nice in the evening i saw the love and marriage show I'll leave you with Sail Away. 
Please like and subscribe for more content. Solo Sue signing off.